bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to a video on the Immortal Treasure 2. Are they any good? Are they worth getting? And what do you think of them? I would love your comments below on this, but obviously I'm going to be running through my take on these as this is my sort of first impressions slash reactions to it. So first one here is Darkseer on the list. He has these rather funky uh, braces of the forlorn recipe, uh, which affects his iron shell. That should be interesting. That should be very interesting, actually. They do look pretty cool, to be honest. They do look pretty cool. Okay, cool. So here he is, sort of running around. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, they, they're, they're very obvious items. You can definitely see them. It's like, whoa, man, you like your bling. Uh, now, but let's have a look at it in action on one of the creeps here. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That's so good. I see where this world Oh, mate, I love it. I mean, look at that. That's that's so well done. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10 because it's like literally the first one. I'm kind of tempted to give it a 10 out of 10 as an immortal, but this is amazing. This is so good. Everything about it is awesome. Okay, so next one is this scorpion tail for Viper. I, I, I mean, actually, I've always felt like Viper has always been under-itemized. Uh, not itemized, itemized is not the word. It has uh, Cosmetic items has always been under underperformed, And that looks pretty sick. That, again, affects Nether Toxin. That should be fascinating to see in action. Um... But yeah, very, very nice looking. Weird, it's like he's a scorpion now, but but good. Very good. Alright, cool. So here he is, zooming in, flying around. It does it does look really cool. It's like this really vicious stinger thing on him. I think it looks great. I have also got the other immortal item equipped on him, so that probably helps as well. So, uh... Alright, so let's have a look at the... Uh, so that's... There's the queue, but that's not what we're here for. Sorry, let's just do... There you go. But now we've got Never Toxin as well. So let's have a look at that in action. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that is so good. Oh, mate. This is, this is again, really well done. Oh, man. I'm going to have to give it another 9 out of 10. So the next one on our list is Edge of the Lost Order by Juggernaut. This affects his first ability, Blade Fury. Uh, as a sword, it looks really cool. Definitely looks really cool. I like it a lot. And yeah, look, look, if you spin really fastly, you get the uh, that blurry line there in the middle. That's that's really cool. Yeah, interesting. Okay, cool. So first off, let's look just at the sword as a cosmetic. As you see, it's got a lovely little wispy uh, line as you go along. That is cool. That is definitely cool. Uh, zoom out a little bit, and then let's do the Blade Fury now. Look at that. It's like a Karna level. It's, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's just, it's just spin around everywhere. Even into the fountain. Let's just keep going. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Again, wow, Val, I've got to say, you've done some great work here. Pulled out all the stops. I wasn't as impressed with the Immortal 1s, but Immortal 2s, these are, these are solid. These are these are beautiful. Again, I, I, three times in a row. Like, have I taken really good meds today or something? But this is a really good item. I want these. I want all three of them. They're really good. Okay, cool. So this one is Pyreac... Pyre... Pyreaxic? Flux. Pyreaxic Flux. Pyreaxic. Pyreaxic. Okay, that makes more sense. Flux. It's, uh... It, I mean, it makes his head look cool, that's for sure. A very nice little uh, adjustment there. Um, let's check it out. Okay, cool. Now, you can also see on his head the other immortal item that affects Ice Path. So there's Ice Path there. I've seen that before. It's cool. I said it was cool before. Now you can see the fire alternative there on his head, and this affects dual breath. So let's try a little bit of that out, shall we? Oh, wow. Oh, 
<laughs> that is cool. That is really cool. Fortunately, it's not as amazing as the other ones were, but it's still pretty up there. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a really solid 7.5 out of 10. Dude, that is really cool. And I like the synergy they've got going on there with the... Uh, the fire and ice type head thing. It's beautiful. So this is Paragon's Rebuke. A lovely little helmet, and this affects Repel. A great item for Omni Knight, who is a great hero. Brilliant support slash off laner. It looks cool. Not going to lie, it looks cool. And again, you've got these nice little effects as you move it around. Really, really cool. Alright, cool. So, on the battlefield, you can see his, his lovely helmet. Again, looks cool. It looks very dramatic, doesn't it? Look at that. It looks a little bit like Thor as well, from like, you know, the Avengers and stuff. No, I like it. It's, it's a nice looking cosmetic. And let's have a look what Repel looks like. Wow, that's pretty beautiful. All wands will break. Fear nothing. That is a very much better looking repel. It's uh, like a shield around you and stuff. Nah, that's uh, that is beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, I like that a lot. Um, again, not like amazed by it, so I'm going to probably give that a seven out of ten. But still, really good looking item. Great and more. Cool. All right. So this is. Uh, this is the zeal of Omar's Arkosh. He is permanently just holding his hand up in a really dramatic, like he thinks he's... I mean, look at that. That is freaky. Look at that, those teeth there. It's disgusting, but scary at the same time. This really dramatic, fiery fist. It, it does look badass. I'm not going to lie. It does look really badass. Uh, kind of scares me, though, a little bit. All right, so here he is walking on the battlefield with his freaky big fist. Um... The fire yeah, I mean, like I said, it looks cool. I'm not, like, blown away by it as a cosmetic. The ground burns. You know, it kind of just sort of blends into doom. But, uh, but yeah, you know, nonetheless. I was trying to devour someone. Oh, that's fun. Unfortunately, even with three spells, I can't infinite devour, so let's just make sure we do the last one really well. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's cool. That is cool. However... Kind of expected more, and it feels a little yes. bit under exciting. I'm not, I'm not excited by it. You know, I don't feel like. Wow. So I, I think, I think. I'm gonna give that a six out of ten. It's good, but it's not great. So this next one is for Wraith King. This is the Unbroken Fealty, and this affects Mortal Strike. So that, that makes sense. They've been doing a lot of adjustments to that recently, you know, with all the skeletons and stuff like that. Uh, he was a little bit broken when you could use Crystallis to abuse his crit's ability, but that's kind of... That's kind of gone. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, that is different looking. Freaky trains. I mean, it's one hell of a sword, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, no, uh, that looks cool, looks cool, looks cool. Okay, cool. So you can you can see the sword on the battlefield there, zoomed in. Actually, let's show it in attack as well. Let's see how it, you know. What's it look like when it crits? There you go. So not, not, it doesn't do anything like super special. So that's that there. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'm presuming that when you summon your skeletons, that's when it gets really exciting. Okay, cool. So I have here now five skeletons. Let's have a look at what they look like. Oh, look at that. Mini Wraith Kings. Sort of a little zoom in on them. Yeah, they're like mini Wraith Kings. I'm going to be a Wraith King when I grow up. And they like, look like Centurions and stuff. Yeah, it's quite, it, they, they, they are quite cool, to be honest. Um... Look at that tower damage. The enemy's middle now they won't move anyway. So yeah, no, no, it looks cool, but again, I'm not. I don't. I don't love the sword. I don't love the summoned units. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and give that... Uh, I'm going to give 7 out of 10. You know, it's good, but it's not... Like I say, it's not great. So this is the golden version of the Braces of the Forlorn recipe. Does it look better? Looks different. So here are the golden ones being placed. I don't think they look as good. Head says, I often have this with the golden ones. They just look yellow. They don't look golden, they look yellow. Would you like a yellow version? Like his actual items he's wearing do look golden. But these actually just look yellow. So I I I actually like, obviously, it's a cool general uh, immortal item, but I'd actually probably give him a 9 out of 10, not a 10 out of 10, because then debatably actually look worse. <laughs> so here's the golden version, which I actually think looks really sick. That looks really cool. And it does look golden. So here's the golden cosmetic. Again, sword looks cool. Ah! Oh, look at that. At last... Just look at it. I'm going to do it, guys. This is it. 10 out of 10. Just awesome. Very desirable I am. Beautiful. So beautiful. So this is the uh, Sanity's Eclipse Ultimate. Adding a purple flare to what is otherwise normally a greeny-blue Outward Devira. I mean, it looks really, really cool. The wings are, like, freaky. Look at that. It's like flying through a storm. Very well done. Let's check it out. So here we are, zoomed in, flying around with all the magic. That looks really cool. I'm sorry, that looks really, really good. It's very, very dramatic. Ooh. Yeah, no, nice, nice, nice. Let's check out Sanity's Eclipse. Whoa! Let them take this as an omen. That's, uh... That's almost like a black hole. Yeah, I mean, that's that, that's amazing. It's like a sun supernova or something. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Sorry, yeah. Hate to be like, oh, giving 10s only to the most rare items, but I can see why it is. I mean, so I've been really disappointed in the past by some of the really average ultra rares, but... In this case, no, that's the whole thing is amazing. So yeah, ten out of ten. Wow, <laughs> wow. And then of course you've got the uh, the cosmetically rare. So uh, there you go. So that's fine. We've already seen that before. So yeah, no. I, generally, I, I'm actually really, and I always have this. It's always the second one. I always find the second set of treasures are the ones that that always. Are, are exciting but those are my reviews tell me what you think please give the video a like subscribe and share and let me know in comments what you think and which one you most like thanks very much for watching please give the video a like subscribe and share and goodbye